Manhattan's federal court today, the debate over what to do with aborted or miscarried fetal remains. Abortion rights advocates and providers are asking a judge to strike down a rule requiring hospitals and clinics to bury or cremate any fetal tissue rather than treat it as medical waste. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis was in the courtroom all day today and has more. In a federal courtroom closed off to cameras, advocacy groups for women's reproductive rights have once again found themselves at odds with the state of Texas. This is not a law that women want. This is not a law that treats women with compassion, compassion with dignity and respect. Rather, it imposes the state's narrow viewpoint on women about what they should be doing. Opponents of the rules say it would also be a financial burden to medical providers. In court, an expert who analyzed the impact found the rule has no benefits for health and public safety yet comes with cost. Estimating each cremation would be around $500 to $700. That it doesn't respect their wishes, that it intrudes into their privacy, and that it makes medical care more expensive, more complicated, and harder to get. But a state witness estimates the cremation cost would be much lower at $125. And lawyers note that Texas Catholic cemeteries are offering burial for remains at no cost. I'm hopeful that these law rules can go into effect as soon as possible. We have tens of thousands of abortions every year in Texas, and right now it's legal for those remains of those unborn children to be ground and flushed down a sewer system. Supporters say the rule would restore some dignity to unborn children, but opponents say it's just another roadblock for women who want abortions and doctors who provide them. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. Testimony will continue tomorrow and the judge is expected to make his decision on Friday.